Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this tutorial on building a keyword list using Excel. <coughs> so on this screen here you'll see that I'm in Excel right now. Got a new uh, workbook open and this is the template that I like to use. Uh, you can see I've got several columns. Um, it's like about eight or one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, whatever it is, there's nine of them, um, and I have it organized um, by ad groups primarily. That's the first column right here. Um, so let's say that I'm, well, first off, when I get into this document, the first thing I want to do is name uh, each one of my worksheets. Um, I like to organize the campaigns down here. So if I have several campaigns, three to be exact, I would create three sheets and name them. So let's say that my first campaign, let's say I own a sporting goods store and I want to run a campaign on I don't know, basketball shoes. Okay, so I made, I labeled that tab right down there, this worksheet. Um, and then could have another campaign on, say, uh, baseball bats. Um, well, let's just stay consistent here and talk about shoes. I like being pretty specific with my different campaigns. Um, so I'm going to make a campaign for each type of shoe that I sell for each sport. So basketball shoes, running shoes. Um, bowling shoes. How about that? So uh, before I get started with these other two campaigns, I'm just going to show you the um, all my, my general workflow here. So basketball shoes. We have tons of different brands of basketball shoes out there, so I would probably want to organize my ad groups by brand name, and if I wanted to get even more specific, um, so let's say I had Nike shoes. I have, I like to put in bold by the way. I have Adidas, Reebok. Um, that's pretty specific. I can get even more specific. If I wanted to go down to the specific model, I would probably just um, make keywords for each model type, but if um, on my website I had pages for each individual Nike shoe that I carry, and same thing with the Adidas shoe that I carry, and Reebok shoe that I carry, um, I would actually want to have an ad group for each model. So let's say um, that instead this campaign is called Nike Basketball Shoes. So we change it to Nike basketball shoes. So everything in here is going to have it's going to be re related to Nike basketball shoes. But since we have different models, we could have um, an ad group called Hyperdunks, which is a type of Nike basketball shoe. Uh, Hyperfuse is another one I know of. Um, whatever, you get the point. So. Let's just do these two ad groups for now. So when I'm adding my keywords um, to the list, um, well, first let's get things set up here. What I like to have done is um, when I enter a broad keyword, it automatically converts into a phrase and an exact match keyword. So the way to do that is if you go into your phrase column, Type in equals concatenate, concatenate, and you do the parentheses sign, um, and then you just click into this cell right here, which is B3. And I'm sorry, before you do that, you actually want to type in care or C H A R 34 in the parentheses, comma. And then you type in, uh, then you click, sorry, B3, comma, care again, 34, in the parentheses, and then close those 
parentheses right there. So what this does, uh, before I hit enter, let me just explain character 34 is uh, a quotation mark. So what this means is that it's going to B3 or anything in this cell is going to be surrounded by quotes um, when we hit enter. So let's do that. You'll see the quotes are right here, but since there's nothing in here yet, um, it won't be populated with the keyword. So once again, equal concatenate in the parentheses character, parentheses 34, comma, click the cell you want, B3, comma, character 34, again. There you go. Take a look at that and make sure you have it typed in correctly. Now we're going to go into the exact column. We're going to do the same thing pretty much, but this one's going to be a little bit easier. So we hit equals concatenate, auto completes for us, parentheses, and we're going to actually just we're going to use some quotes here to indicate the opening bracket. Then we're going to comma, click on the B3 cell. And I make quotes again. Close in bracket, quotes, and closing parenthesis. And I messed something up, so let's take a look. Uh, okay, so what I'm doing, I missed a, a comma right here. So make sure you have it right. Hit enter. Once again, equal, concatenate. This is actually probably more complicated than the previous one, um, but at least you don't have to remember that it's character 34. You can just type in the bracket between each of those parentheses. So those are the two formulas you want. And then what I do from here is, before I start typing in my broad keywords, just drag this guy. So you click the bottom right corner, which I'm sure you already know how to do. Once you see this black plus, drag it all the way down. Um, as far as your keyword list goes, I think you'd also... Um, double click that to make it extend all the way but uh, there's some some way to do it anyway forget it um, so we do the same thing here drag it all the way down voila okay so now let's start typing in some of our keywords so um, I do suggest that you think off the top of your head when you're um, brainstorming keywords to just start typing some in um, to your list to start it off before you use any other tools. Um, some people might disagree with this, but I, I like to just you know get my mind working a little bit before I start automating things too much. So um, let's say we have three different hyperdunk models, um, and one of our keywords we want to be hyperdunk. Um, Basketball or Hyperdunks 2009. I don't know. Whatever. That's not that specific, but um, you see that it automatically fills in here in the phrase Hyperdunks 2009. And then you have the, ex the exact match there, too. Hyperdunks 2010. Sorry, 2010. I don't even know if they have a 2009 model, frankly, but or 2011 model, but you get the idea. Um, so this is a cool trick. When you're typing in your keywords, you can just automatically have them converted into phrase and exact match. Um, I believe in when you're adding keywords to your AdWords account, you might be able to, well, I'm sure you're able to select if you want broad match or phrase match, but this is a nice way to just kind of um, pick out well, to really cherry pick the ones you want. So, with keywords as unspecific as these, I would actually probably just do exact or phrase matched keywords here and add them to my account. So you get to pick and choose. Um, so that's a major thing you could do to save yourself a lot of time and a good way to organize it. Um, obviously, if you ran out of room, if you wanted to add more keywords, you could just um, select a bunch of cells, right click, and um, I'm sorry, go to insert cells or rows, doesn't matter, and we'll just add them for you. Uh, don't forget you want to extend your formula though um, all the way up to the top, so 
I can click this, drag it, there it goes. And you, it's indicated by the, uh, the quotes and the brackets, obviously. So that's what you would want to do. Um, these other columns I'm not going to talk about here. I'll actually talk about in another video. Um, but these are, um, I like to see where my website or the website that's in question ranks for each of the search engines and how much uh, their estimated traffic is. But we'll go over that in another video. Uh, so I hope this helps and um, please leave any comments if you have any questions. Thank you.